Hi, welcome back to Call of Duty. I think today we're going to do a revisit on the Altel Evo. Let me tell you what I think of it now. I've had it nearly a year. What my thoughts are, what my conclusions are, and how good do I think it flies. So, we're going to take a re look at the Evo. So, I've had this nearly a year now, and I've been more than happy with it. One of the things you do when you're reviewing, you don't actually get time to fly the drones you love. You end up flying a lot of drones that you probably don't love, that you sent to review, which is why I've very much changed my channel and the way I'm going to do things. Because I wasn't flying for me anymore, I was flying to review. And the, the toy grade stuff became buying because it was going to fly something like... There was a lot of stuff you've not seen on my channel because I didn't even put it up there because it was that bad. So I stopped doing all that and started enjoying what I, what I already own. I own a lot of camera drones as you're probably well aware from watching the channel. This one got neglected a little bit but I have flown it quite a few times and hopefully I might, if at the end of this video you're either going to see some new flight footage or some I've added on that I'd already done because the weather in the UK if you're probably well aware is terrible. So you may be seeing some, there's going to be some flight footage at the end of this so you can see the camera. You've all seen, know what this is, it's been out quite a bit now. It came out as competition to DJI, it came out just before the DJI Mavic 2. Uh, not that long before, a couple of months, I think three months before. And it's got a 60 frames per second 4K camera on this. Which is something that the zoom doesn't have. And this also does 100 megabits per second transfer rate so it really is a top a top of the range drone so th let's just talk about this my experiences with it so this is advertised a 30 minute flight time and 4.3 miles i have not been 4.3 miles with it i have been a long distance with it i have been over, well over two and a half i think i've been about 2.7 miles with this and had absolutely no issues whatsoever i don't really seem to have issues with the app freezing or anything like that like i do on some of the drones it seems to get a consistent relay back to my phone and my controller. The flight time's advertised at 30 minutes. I'd say that's probably well possible. Uh, last year in December, I think it was, I did a flight. I put a flight footage up and I flew this thing in minus 5 and I got 26 minutes in minus 5 degrees. And I seem to get between 26 and 29 on virtually every flight. So, for once, the flight times seem to be right. I've never flown this in stupidly high wind or something like that, because that will affect it. But I can only tell you what, judging on my experience, the worst I've ever had on this was 24 minutes, and that might have been on a bit of a windy day. And various things can affect the drone, as you're well aware. So you can never really go by what they're telling you on the advert or the website, but this thing's something close. So why do I, why have I still got this? Because I own the Mavic Zoom and I own uh, a lot of other drones. So the reason I still have this, this is 60 frames per second and I didn't want, I didn't buy the Mavic Pro for that, Mavic 2 Pro for that reason. I had a 60 frames per second drone. Do I think this drone's perfect? No, no. It, it, to me it, it isn't, but no drone is. You can always find fault for drones. The only thing I would say about this one I have to play with the colour settings before I fly because if I don't I can have it, the image can look a bit yellow but that's not all the time and a lot of time that happens that's my fault if you've seen a video and it looks a bit yellow it's probably my fault because I haven't set it up properly at the beginning so you do have to it's auto isn't as good as the auto on some other drones having said that that does not mean this is not a good drone this is an amazing drone and this is an amazing drone for two reasons one it's extremely stable it gets the advertised flight time and all that but it has a screen built into the controller. Not does it have a, just have a screen built into the controller, it's a usable screen built into the controller. And that makes a difference. Because I have, you've probably all seen drones with screens built in. A lot of times they're not usable. So this is only, I think it's only 366 nits, but I have no issue seeing this in the sun at all. Absolutely nothing. And I've still got the screen protector on the thing. Which can make a difference. Now whether it's making a difference in a good way, I don't know. So let me just boot it up. So I'm not obviously going to review this, I already have. Um, but I'm just going to show you the controller, and why I love the controller. 
I love the controller because of its portability and its size. It is not extremely heavy, it's quite a light controller for what it is. The built-in screen works fantastically well. It gives me flight time remaining in minutes. I can see it instantly. I can have this two ways. I've put my phone in here, I can leave this screen set up and it'll give me data back. So I'll get, if you like, what's happening. I'll get my height, my distance, everything like that on there so I don't have to bother looking at the screen. Or if I press the display button on the back here, and then obviously have the image coming directly from the camera. It's quite dull in here as you can probably tell and obviously I've got the screen. This is making a difference and the only reason I left it on is I didn't want to damage my screen. But it is brighter when you take it off. But this, I don't know whether this is working in my favour in the sun because it doesn't seem to affect me. Your controller's intuitive and very easy. Use pause button, return to home, take off and land. Look how well labelled them buttons are. They're easy to get to and they're very easy to control. Your gimbal control, very easy to use. Your dial control to move things, very easy. So if I want to adjust my, my if I want to change that from auto, I simply click it down and then I can adjust it to manual. If I want to get my shot better, if I leave it in manual, I come back out of manual, go into auto. There's so much you can do on this that's in really good. You've got the record button on the back, it's said simple to everything's really easy to get to. That's one of the massive advantages of this controller. You're not looking, you're not searching, it's intuitive and the gimbals are really, really precise. As you can see, they're just the movement on the gimbal is really nice, very, very nicely finished off. It's just the fit and finish is absolutely amazing. The fit and finish of the whole drone is fantastic. It's a very well made drone. So, let me just stop the recording. So, yeah, you can. I love the way you can control this. You can change your video resolution by a simple press. You can do all this when you're flying and it's intuitive. I, to be honest with you, I probably don't use this feature enough because I tend to fly with my phone like everybody else does. Um, I don't know why, I just do. But I tend to fly with my phone a lot rather than use the features of this thing's got on that controller. So we've talked about the battery time. So it has got avoidance. So it's got front and back. The back only works in certain modes as it does on the DJI. It doesn't work in all modes, but neither does the DJI. This is not a comparison video. Also, let me just uh, turn it off. So like I said, this isn't a comparison video. I'm not going to compare this with DJI. I just wanted to do a run through with you. Actually, Steve at Southport RC asked if I could do this, and I was actually going to do it anyway, but probably in a month's time. But So I decided to do this because Steve's interested in buying one at some point. Which brings me on to the only issue that this drone has. Getting older one is not that easy. Because this isn't a worldwide release drone, and it isn't, you can't buy this in the UK, because there's no one going to stock this in the UK for you. You don't can't, most of the Chinese sites, I don't think you can get on Banggood, Gearbest, and all them other Chinese sites. You're going to either be buying it from Autel, or you're going to be buying it from eBay. If you're buying it from eBay, be very careful who you buy it off. There's also some sites, if you search on Google, you're going to find some sites. I'm not allowed to name them, but if you do see them sites, and they say they're in the UK, and they've got them, and they're called some camera related I can't say what they are do not buy from these places they're not genuine they're gonna rip you off and I think what the, the whole point is they try and hold on to your money till PayPal give it you back which could be three four months down the line so avoid them like the plague I bought this used on eBay and I think I paid I can't remember for, if you go back to my first video I probably said I think it was 750 with two batteries so what you see on the bench here I'm more than happy with that price it's 999 dollars it's never been reduced in price should it be? Probably not. I don't think. Why would it? Why, why would you reduce it in price when the other cup when the competition's more than that still anyway? Is this a great drone to buy? Absolutely. Are you going to be disappointed with it? Never in a million years. You're going to be very happy with this drone. It doesn't have a zoom feature. Neither do most drones. It has digital zoom, but it's as bad as most digital zooms are. They're never that great. 
When you buy it, it comes as a charger, the power supply is in the garage because I've just unplugged it after I charged it and the battery's charged things uh, quick. But one of the other points about this is this lot fits into this case. Put me somewhere over there. Yeah, this is the DJI Mavic 2 case. When I got the Mavic 2, I got the plastic hard case with it as well. So this came spare. So all that fits in here nicely. So you've only left with this. The drone, I think, weighs just under, just over 650 grams with a battery. It feels heavier than that. I'm sure it's 600. I might be wrong on that one, but it feels heavy in comparison to some other drones. But it doesn't feel heavy when in, in the air. Sometimes when you fly a drone, you get the impression that the drone feels heavy. If you watched a Power Reg video I did the other day, that is a heavy drone. But I could tell when I was flying it, it feels heavy on the sticks. This doesn't. And that's probably because of the power, the thrust from these motors and the fact they've got that balanced. So yeah, this sounds like an advert for Alta. I'd I won't sell this drone now because probably, I could probably get back what I paid for it. Probably more because they tend to go a little bit more now on eBay, but I've no intention of selling it. It's another one in my collection and there will be more videos of this coming up. Definitely, so if I don't get, if I get the video you're going to see at the end, if it is one that I've already put up before and I've just cut it and spliced it so you can see what this video looks like, there will be a video coming shortly. I'm going to fly this in the same place I flew the Mavic 2 Zoom the other day, if you saw that video. I flew that in Saddleworth, so I'm going to fly this in the same area. Probably the weather won't be as good because I'm very lucky getting a sunny day like that. But it's a nice place to fly, it's an open space, the stuff to look at, the res looks great and there's really a lot of open fields and a lot of different stuff to look at so I like flying there you can follow the road if you want to get some kind of continuity to see where you're going I, I love it so that's where this is going to be filmed and a lot of other things are going to be filmed so you are going to see much more from this moving forward thanks to everybody that voted on the poll that I put up the other day I think it's a 40 odd view 40 odd votes where I did put this in the poll but there seems to be a lot of people wanting to see the Xeno so I will do more videos on the Xeno I haven't done one for ages uh, I'll let you know how I'm getting on with it. The reason for doing this one first is Steve asked for it, um, Southpaw RC, but mainly because this is coming up to a year old now. So is the Xeno, so I wanted to get this up there. Like I say, if you like this drone, search for one. You will find one. You might have to take a little bit of time to get it, but it's certainly worth keeping an eye out for. And like I say, you're not going to be disappointed with it. Thanks ever so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Have a fantastic day. So this bit of video you're watching now was filmed at a place called Castle Hill in Huddersfield. It's a local landmark over there. As you can see, that it was filmed probably, I think in March, something. I can't honestly remember, but it was a horrendously grey day. But look at the clarity the camera's picking up of that, what they call a castle. It's more like a turret. But if you look at the quality that it's pulling there, you can see how good it is. Really, really sharp. So this one's filmed in the same place, but I think this was filmed in June, July, something like that, when it was a sunny day. And as you can see, the difference in the quality. I, I absolutely love this drone, as I've said. It flies fantastically. Uh, you do get your props in shot occasionally. You have to make sure you angle that camera down. But 100% love it.
Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.